Where's your head at? What's up? Can you hear me over the music? Let me lower it for you. Drop it. So, where were we making our last video? Oh, wait, before I get started, I just want to just say to everybody out there making YouTube videos, everybody that I've ever spoke about or made fun of or made jokes, you guys are doing a hell of a job. You guys get up, you make videos, you're trying to help people. God bless you. If you're out there trying to help people, you know what? I'm not going to criticize you. You know what? You know just as much as I do. I know just as much as you do. Nobody knows what's going on. All right? I think my last video, I was talking about how we were seeing all these blow-off tops and the market was ready to go down, so we went down, right? And then it looked like we were just about to fall off the cliff and everything was finally looking at that five, over 5%, maybe even that 10% correction was coming. Oh, hello, government? Yes. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous that the market's going down. Can you buy everything in sight? Thanks. Somebody made that phone call, the government stepped in and everybody bought everything in sight, right? So you had stocks that were getting hammered. Next thing you know, they're all flying up 10%. So nobody knows what's going to do. And for God's sakes, nobody knows what's going to happen in the next year, let alone what's going to happen today. But if I told you there was a way to make money about 85% of the time, but it only happened maybe two or three times a day, would you wait for those opportunities? Of course you would. Of course you would. And that's what we've been doing right now. Less is more right now. I've been saying that for a while. None is even better because it's Yankee season right now. You want a guarantee in life, it's that the Yankees are going to be a 500 team at best this year. No matter how great they looked on paper, they're only going to win probably be 80, 82 games. So considering they're the New York Yankees, they are generally the favorite going into every game. And if you're a sports gambler, you know what that means. You get a little bit more on the money that you're betting. So let's say you bet 100 bucks, you get 115. Sometimes you bet 100 bucks, you get 120. Sometimes you get 150, 180, sometimes 220, depending on the pitching setup. But no matter how great they look on paper and how one pitcher should dominate the other pitcher, the Yankees seem to be just the same team as they've been since the Red Sox destroyed them, winning four games in a row in the playoffs. Now... As a conspiracy theorist, I believe that we're all living in the Matrix and none of this is real. But when the Yankees lost four games in a row to the Red Sox in the playoffs for the first time in history for a team to come back and win four games in a row, the Yankees were forever tarnished. And since that day, you could pretty much almost say the Yankees will never be that winning franchise again. And of course, they won one more World Series after that. Congratulations to them. But overall, the Yankees are a 500 team. And if you bet against them every day and you're getting odds in your favor, eventually you're going to come out ahead. That's enough sports gambling for you. And if you want to talk sports gambling, come on to the website. Not only will I give you two or three good stock picks for the day, show you a couple of tricks on how to find some. Now, speaking of me showing people tricks on how to find something, let's talk about PBR, the only stock that we were trading over the last week and a half, two weeks. Here's a stock that somebody brought to my attention and said, hey, look, isn't this one of those situations where you love a stock coming off lows that have been trending down for a good amount of time and that's starting to try to break back above where you say that would be a good buying opportunity? And I said, yeah, you know what? Awesome. Great idea. One of my students brought it to my attention and turned out to be one of the best stocks we've had in a couple of weeks, a couple of months, maybe a year. Not only did we trade it perfectly, but we sold it at the top and we went short and made money on the pullback. And now we are no longer PBR. We are no longer in anything. Go-Go, Condi. Now my claim to fame in, in, in 2007, 2008 was, yeah, you know what? I sold all my stocks near the highs. Congratulations to me. You know, and I went short for a couple of weeks while the market was tanking. And then I just sat and watched. Same thing in, in the year 2000. You know, I sold all my stocks near the highs, made some really nice money on the way down, but then I got a little uh, full of myself thinking that I was going to pick some bottoms and I got hammered. But again, nothing matters except what we're going to do today, April 10th, 2014. Now, here's what I want you to do. If you haven't come to my website, now the website is no, it's nothing. All right, you go to hitthebid.com, you're looking, hey, what, what, what's going on here? What am I looking at? All it is is a porthole to find our 
live broadcast room, okay? We do a show. I go strong from around 9.30 to about 12, where, and lately it's been 9.30 to about 11.30 because I like to catch the showcase showdown on Price is Right. And I'm not kidding. But if you can make $250, maybe $300 by 11.30, who's better than you? Think of it in the big picture. Most people are getting up, going to the job, having some guy yell at you, having a manager, having somebody telling you that you're doing a bad job. You're always stressed out. But what we do is we work for ourselves. We wake up, stretch. You don't have to get dressed. You don't have to shower. You don't have to do anything. Throw a hat on. Do whatever you want. Maybe you like to get dressed up, sitting around in your own house, put a suit and tie on, whatever the case may be. If you can make, let's say, anywhere from 100, even 180 bucks like we did yesterday, made 180 bucks. Big deal, right? But it was 180 bucks by 1045. Extrapolate that. Is that a word? Yeah. Plot that over a day's work. 180 bucks by 10:30 in the morning or 10:45 in the morning. You work for an hour and a half for 180 bucks. You're like a high-priced hooker, right? 180 bucks for an hour and hour and a half. Well, I don't know the hookers that you're using, but that's a lot of money. 180 bucks. Well, then again, depending on your style of prostitution, you could go for a thousand bucks for a couple of hours. But anyway, you're making like money like a, let's say a mid-class whore. 180 bucks in an hour and 15 minutes? Who's better than you? Nobody. And you know the best part about it is that if you shut the computer, nobody can take that money away from you. Don't overtrade. Wait for those perfect setups. And those perfect setups is what I show you and I drill it into your head every day. Because there's maybe four or five things that really, really work well as far as intraday trading. Long-term investing, no, I know nothing about long-term investing, okay? Because any stock that I've decided I wanted to hold on to, GoGo, Condi, Dry Ships, uh, I don't know, name a few, Sina I liked for a while, all of them have hit a point and have not just pulled back, but have gotten destroyed. So if I was a long-term holder, all the money that I was up would have been gone and then some. So again, right now, and listen to this closely, April 10th, 2014, I have no vested interest in the stock market whatsoever right now. None. I sold, even sold, did I sell them all? No. I still have a few January 2016, 94, 63 calls, thinking that the market eventually will take off. And I have 100 shares of GoGo for my kid still sitting in his account because I don't want to sell it because it's uh, getting hammered. Hopefully it comes back to $25 one day. And that's it. Sold my dry ship, sold my Alcoa, sold my Diamond Food, sold my Condi. I own nothing. I will wait till those perfect setups come along and maybe I will dip back in. But right now, I want to be able to sleep. I sold everything in my account yesterday and I slept from 9 o'clock at night yesterday till about 8.30 today. I slept for 11 and a half hours. You want to know why? Because I own nothing. I couldn't care less. Gap up, gap down, Crimera, nothing. I didn't care. I don't want to care anymore. What I want to do is I want to get you involved. And this is bringing it home right here because I know I'm trying to keep these videos under 10 minutes because I, I, I don't know how you guys could stand looking at my face for over 10 minutes. What I want to do, and thank you for the last guy. Thanks very much. We have a brokerage firm. We have a subscription-based education company. We have a broadcast room. And all of that, what I want you to do is if you're thinking about trading, come and hang out with me for two weeks, three weeks, a month on me. See what I do. I'll explain all the different avenues that you could take to become a trader, to become an investor, to become whatever you want to do, and try to do what you think you want to do. Let me show you a couple of tricks. And right now what it is, you open up an account with us, you get our chat room, you get an account, and depending on the kind of situation that you want to set up, if you open up an account with us, obviously our education and our subscription to our chat rooms are cheaper. If you just want to come in for the chat room, it's a thousand bucks right now. One thousand dollars, and you get this guy right here till January 2016. Pick my brain, do everything you want, but of course, remember, today is Thursday, so please do not call me at 1015 because Booyah! You know what day it is. It's Thursday. Used to be my wife would we'd have to wait till ER was over. And I liked ER. That John Carter was some hot fella. I love that guy. And it would get her all excited because she liked she liked John Carter and you know I'd put a mask on. Now we're getting too we're getting a little bit too crazy. But let me tell you something. 
you want to learn how to make money, come and hang out. If you've ever paid for anything, you know, I know you have. You probably paid for briefing, maybe Benzinga, maybe some guy that sends you emails to talk about what stock picks you like. Come and hang out with me. We talk philosophy, we talk ideas, and we, of course, give three to four stock picks during the day. Now, what's a pick? A pick is, I like this stock right here at 58.25. I think it's going to go to 58.50 in the next three minutes. Buy it here at 58 and a quarter. If it goes to 58.50, sell it. Take your 250 bucks on 1,000 shares. That's what we do. I show you why we're doing it, what it pertains to, why we like it, what we think is going to happen, and of course, we always have an exit plan because if the trade doesn't go your way, you need to take the loss. And a big part about this business, which people forget, you have to take losses. You have to take losses. I think I've told you about that day where I had 16 trades in a row, all for losses, but that 17th trade made it all back because I took those small losses on all those trades. It was amazing, actually. 16 trades. Couldn't do anything right. I was ready to smash a computer. That last trade finally went my way, and you know I was down about 780 bucks, 800 bucks. And at the end of the day, I made $100. It was a perfect, awesome day. I could show you all these tricks. Pick my brain. Let me show you what I could do for you, okay? All right, guys, I hope everyone's doing well. Let's try to stay sane in this market. I know it's very difficult. You know, one day we're crashing, one day we're rallying, one day, you know, there's some political strife, and one day there's world peace. So it's a tough environment to stay one way, and it could drive you batshit insane because as soon as you start feeling one way, you got to change gears again. That's why I will never fault anybody, not even Kramer. Well, then again, I could always make fun of Kramer because he just always says to buy regardless of what the stock's doing. And he says, oh, uh, yeah, you, sh you should have sold that one. I'm sorry. But again, if you're out there and you're trying to talk about what the market's going to do, crash, rally, God bless you. All right? You're trying to help people. You're the man. You're the man. All right? Gold, silver, you know what you think you know. God bless you. I hope gold goes to 2000 for you and silver goes to fifty. You know, I've been buying coins too. I love these freaking coins. I love me some coins. You know, I got silver too. You know, I got about a hundred of these lying around the house. I'm actually burying them in the backyard for, uh, for shits and giggles. I buried about 10 of these in my backyard. I sealed them in plastic and buried them in the ground. One day we're going to go on a treasure hunt with a, I don't know, we'll have some fun with it. Point being, look, if you want to learn something, I've been doing this for 20 years. I'm only doing this for two more years. I can't take it. I'm, I'd rather be a waiter. I'd rather be pumping gas than sit in front of the computer past 1130 every day. All right? I want to be able to make some money and actually go out and do something else. And that's what I want to show you how to do. You don't have to sit in front of the computer. And I know you want to stay there just in case something happens later in the day, right? But always remember, there's going to be tomorrow. Whatever you miss in the afternoon, chances are the next day you're going to have the same thing, right? How many times has a stock gone up after you sold it, right? It's going to happen again. How many times have you shorted the stock, keeps going up, you cover, make a, take a loss, and then it tanks? It's going to happen again. Don't be afraid to walk away from the computer. Remember, when you're sitting at the blackjack table and you go on a bad run, you got to get up. You got to get up from the table. Leave. It's okay. The best part about getting up after you're, even if you're down, if things aren't going well for you and it's 11.30, chances are you're not going to have a good day. Don't keep pushing it. Leave. So let's say you're down 150 bucks. You just, you know, what did I just do with my life? I just sat here all day, lost money. What did I do? So what? So what? Just close it out. Come back tomorrow refreshed. Get a good night's sleep when, when you don't own any stocks. You don't have to worry about earnings reports or whatever. You could sleep, generate some cash, go back to sleep. All right, guys. God bless everybody. We're all living in the matrix anyway. And if you're watching the cosmos, it really will change your life to see how truly insignificant we are. And if you think that we're the only people out there in this monstrous, monstrous universe, you got to be kidding me. I want to hold on to hope that there's, others, there's another guy out there just like me in some other dimension 
having the same nightmare that I have when I'm having a bad trading day. And what makes me feel better is that no matter how awful my problems are, and my problems are basically only about trading. My, everything else is pretty good. That's my plight in life. You know, this stuff drives me nuts. Everything else is pretty good. Thank God. Healthy family, nice house. Little things are breaking around the house. You know, it's been 10 years since I built this thing. So now things are starting to break apart a little bit. And it's 15 minutes. I'm sorry. I go on a little bit too long. You know where to find me. Info at hitthebid.com. I'll send you a backdoor pass and we can take it from there. Hang out with me for a month. If you don't fully appreciate what I could bring to the table, I love those catchphrases, what I could bring to the table in a month, we part as friends and please don't ever come back, okay? Because if you don't see what I'm doing after a week and a half, because again, I know I'm going to go on, but one more comment. A lot of times if you come into my chat room at 12.15, all I'm talking about is how shitty the Yankees are. I thought this was supposed to be about stocks. Where? You know, I'm talking about my wife, I'm talking about my kids, talking about schoolwork, we're talking about social media. Nothing about trading. And you're sitting there waiting. Where are the picks? Where are the fucking picks? You got to come back the next day. We go strong, 9.30 to 11.30. 9.30 to 11.30, that's where your bread and butter is going to be. And later on in the day, if something happens to happen, maybe we have a market rollover, something like that, or a sky-high rally that we had yesterday, there are some opportunities in the afternoon like we had with Cena yesterday. I haven't traded Cena in months. Yesterday, finally, he starts to turn around. Boom, we're in Cena. We made about 75 cents on a couple thousand shares in the stock yesterday. Very nice. All right. All right. It's really nice. It's really great. And uh, it's been so long since I've been making these videos. And if you haven't, you know, felt compelled yet, do it today. Do it today. Info at hitthebid.com. Send me an email and I'll send you a pass. All right.